Welcome to the channel, everyone. Today we're here at the Wolf Teaver boat ramp just off Highway 58 on Lake Chickamauga in Harrison, Tennessee. Sunday evening, June 5th, 2022. That bass boat you just saw go by, I believe that was Cliff Crochet. He's fishing the MLF tournament on Watts Bar. And we're going to start our video off tonight. Uh, this young lady on the left here uh, getting out of this Nissan. She says that she's been driving around for a half hour looking for someone to back her trailer in. And she's begging these gentlemen if uh, one of them would back her trailer in for her. And looks like we've got to take her. The Good Samaritan is going to help her out. But unfortunately, I don't believe he's got very much experience backing up. But he's very willing to help out. As we see, he got the windshield wiper turned on okay. And the drive does work in it, although we need to go backwards. Now we get a little test of the wheel, make sure the tires are turning in the right direction. There we go, we're headed back. No, no, we're going to set it the wrong way. But we do have the windshield wipers going. All right, it looks like we're headed toward the water now. You can see in the background, the lake was very busy. That's white Chevrolet back there, that Chevy Dually. They're loading up a uh, ski boat, a Supra. And you're going to Notice that when it comes out, they actually load that on and it's sitting on the fender of their trailer. Okay, it looks like he's got this thing headed straight back in the water. Oops, so it looks like he may have turned it the wrong way. Now we got this GMC going to pull up here in front of him and he's going to have a hard time pulling up and backing up and getting that straight again. I'll have to excuse a little bit of shuddering here. You're going to see on the screen, uh, I had the telephoto lens on it, and every time I would bump the truck, because this tripod was actually sitting in the bed of my truck, it would shake a little bit. But it only happens a couple times, and in the rest of the video, it's not in there. Okay, now I believe he's got the Nissan disabled from coming forward. We've got some folks coming in here on the left hand side. They're going to be brave and get mixed and walk behind this Nissan and this GMC. And we've got the gentleman with the red shirt and the big hat on the... Uh oh, he's coming behind the Nissan, but his wife or girlfriend doesn't look like she made it through there. There she is. I know it may seem like it's taking this gentleman a while to get in there, but let's remember that he is the Good Samaritan today. This young lady needed some help and he was more than willing and I'm sure he knew he wasn't that experienced, but he offered. I'm going to speed it up here a little bit and uh, get us through this. I can notice the guy in the GMC, he just uh, seems to be getting a little irritated and you're going to see some hand gestures and happen on the 
dash. Now the Nissan now is back in the water. The boat's coming toward the trailer, going to load up. Not real sure why this GMC pickup truck didn't back in between the two boats right there. I believe he could have backed the semi in there. Now this ramp I have seen four or five boats at one time loading and unloading. Now this is fed up. Uh, it's up to about 400% I believe or somewhere close to that. See the boat over there on the dock shaking uh, in the no wake zone. We got these kayakers wanting to come through here. <laughs> Guy in the GMC, he's just like, oh my goodness. But again, I don't understand why he's not putting that in between them two vehicles. I, I believe that uh, a lot of people that would definitely put it in there, I know I could put it in there. I believe he may have had to go to work the next day because he's being a little impatient. A little bit like myself when I'm at the boat ramp. And it looks like the Good Samaritan, they're on their way back now. Got a little sweaty there. And here we've got the uh, white Chevrolet. I'm going to slow this back down. When this thing comes up by here, uh, look at how the boat is actually sitting on the fender. It concerned me. I figured they were going to put a hole in that boat by the time they got home. It looks like this young man's talking to the older gentleman about it. He had looked at it, and uh, I thought maybe they were going to go back and put it back in the water. Went up the road there. I, I believe they just went to the restroom or to the store or something because they eventually come back. Notice there's a lot of boat traffic out there. Typically, the weekend here on Lake Chickamauga. Now, this Ford, he had went all the way around and looped around and came back and went in. That's the proper way here at Wolf Teaver to uh, actually put your trailer or your boat in. Everybody usually comes from one side there, but on the weekends they come from everywhere. Okay, we're gonna see here in a few minutes, uh, this uh, GMC, here she comes. She does a pretty good job getting that trailer down in there and that's a good looking boat they've got it's a fishing ski of some sort I'm not real sure what kind of boat that was here we go the Chevrolet Dually is back with the Supra and I'm going to zoom in here notice all the room they here have here on the starboard side 
and you can see the young ladies leaning over they're all looking that the uh, fender was actually rubbing on that wheel and making a heck of a noise but they're going to go ahead and back up here and put it back in the water i thought they were just going to straighten it out but they end up going back out and enjoying the rest of the day and that's going to wrap it up for us today make sure you check back and see if we've got some new videos out we've got a lot of content that needs to be edited and uh, uploaded if you get out there this weekend be safe and have fun if you've enjoyed the video take time hit the like hit the subscribe and we appreciate it much have a good day